G'day comrade subscribers. So I thought I'd have a quick look at this today. Well, we'll see if it turns out to be a quick look. So I've already got it apart when I was having more well, comparing it with the um, Electronica VL100. Um, I want to add composite, like has been done many times before. <laughs> um, I think it should hopefully not be too difficult because it's got that IC in there that I'm hoping does, whoops, does most of the work. So hopefully it's just a matter of um, tapping into it somehow. So let me go look it up. AN515IN. Um, yeah, so I tried to have a look for a schematic, couldn't find one. Princess PBW121. Actually, I might... Um, I might blow out all of this dust first as well. Yeah, it's neat. I, I got this for um, Christmas in the mid 80s. A little black and white TV. And like the Bowerbird that I am, I still have it with the polys and the box and everything. Four and a half inch mini television. Anyway, let's see if um, this chip does what I hope it does. Okay, it does look like we're in luck. The AN5151. NIC for TV large integration. Uh, so the high integration technology makes possible integration of video, um, intermediate frequency circuit, tuner, AFC circuit, sound IF circuit, and deflection jungle circuit on a single chip. So, that's basically it there. So we've got video output, audio output. So I'm guessing that wherever these go, that's where I can tap in the uh, composite video and well, it'll have to be separate audio, won't it? Um, well, I shouldn't really say composite because it's black and white, so the um, bass band or whatever. So I think to get the circuit board out, I think I might have to pull these plugs off. I'm guessing, and then maybe it'll slip out. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, of course it's not going to slip out, I don't know. What else? Well, there we go, I just need to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Probably have to take the neck board off and obviously the, um, the high voltage connector there. Mm -hmm. So obviously this has been powered off for quite some time. Probably could have used plies for that. Off the flyback transformer. This slips out. Okay, the neck board needs to come off. Is it, how's it going to. Oh, okay, it's, it was glued on. Okay, it was glued on. Okay. So I might have to undo the earth up there as well. Just don't do that. Remember exactly where that goes. Actually, I'm going to have to put that back in because that's under tension and that wants that's holding the screen in place. So let me put that back in so the screen doesn't go walk about. Okay, there we go. That makes it a lot easier to work on, doesn't it? So there's the chip. Oh, I 
and give some of this a bit of a clean, a bit of a blowout. Um, right, let me uh, let me have a little think about this chip. Pin five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let me have a do some research. Right, so, because I'm very simple minded, um, pin five, which is the video output, goes to this link here, M to N, and then down here somewhere, but it seems to be also ends up on this blue cable on the neck board. So the idea is, for example, disconnect this link here. So you're disconnecting the output from here and then just running a composite in here. One volt point uh, peak to peak, maybe. So cut, cut here. Um, but before I do too much, I just want to see if I find something, uh, something simple that outputs composite. I've got something somewhere, I'm sure. I'll find something. Okay, so, I have desoldered that link wire from M to N. So M, actually let me get my pointer. So M was coming out of pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that was basically coming there. And it was just a link over to here. So I've desoldered it from M. And I've hooked up a, um, a uh, RCA cable. So I've got the uh, signal there and ground hanging off there. And trying to find something that outputs AV. So I've just got a DVD VCR player. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay, so power on the TV. Might already have okay power on the VCR. Oh, saw something. Okay, so I think there's a horizontal retrace. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> Changing the program AV1, AV2. Okay, so apart from the horrible horizontal retrace, <laughs> it's working. Too easy. Um, I'll stick a DVD in. Let's see. Okay, let's try this. Powderfinger. Five in concerto. Da -da. DVD open. DVD insert. And where is DVD play? Play is maybe this one. Hey. Cool. So again, apart from the the horizontal retrace, considering that it's a or forty year old odd TV, I have to check if there's any other controls. I think that's contrast and brightness. Uh, don't care. Just play. So yeah, maybe not the best thing if you want to watch um, something in colour. But um, probably good enough for an old computer. Say a black and white ZX80. 
uh, ZX81. How do I advance? Is that actually doing anything? Are we stuck on a menu? See, actually, because the, the frame rate of the camera is 25 hertz, the horizontal retrace is actually quite, is, is actually stable. Whereas it's kind of flickering on here. There we go. Okay, so it's possible. Um, enough of this. Let's, let's stop All this. Right. I think that's enough today. I don't want to go too much. Um, so I've got to figure out. So I've got this uh, socket here is external antenna input. So I was thinking of using this, but I need to get audio in as well. So that's power. So I'm thinking of maybe just on the back shell having having um, two sockets in. But uh, yeah, you can see there, just disconnect the, um, from N, uh, where is it? I've got my, there it is. It was just a link. So I just hooked onto that. So I can just wire, run a wire into N and um, not sure about the horizontal retrace yet. I have to do some more research. Uh, and maybe similar thing for the audio input. So this is where the, there's a big speaker on the side. Or actually, maybe it was over on this side here. Um, yeah, there we go. Work in progress.